Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everyone that supports my channel, whether you're new or an existing subscriber. Today's video is my spring living room tour. I've gone with beautiful tones of pink and I've kept some of the original pillows. So let's jump right into the pillows, guys. The things I love about this pillow is the white stitching on it is so beautiful. It is made with almost like a yarn-like thread, so it's very soft. I like that it's risen. It adds texture. I love the font that they decided to go with, and I think it's absolutely stunning. Perfect shade of pink for the spring. Absolutely love it. That was from HomeSense $29.99. This is another pillow from HomeSense. This one was originally $39.99, but I got it on sale for $30.00. And I love the way this pillow looks and feels. It kind of reminds me of like lamb's hair, <laughs> but it is really, really beautiful. It's so soft and I think it adds again, a really nice amount of texture. It's a little bit darker than the other pink, which is nice. Nothing says spring to me than flowers. I always think of budding flowers, blooming flowers in the springtime. And I decided to bring some of that vibe into the living space by this floral pillow from HomeSense, $39.99. All of my decor really relies on accessories, pillows, throws, and different decor pieces because the space is super small. There's not really much I can do with changing around the furniture. However, what I do like to do is mix styles. Even though I'm a glam girl, I still like the eclectic look as well. So that's why all of my pillows are different fabrics and colors. This throw was $29.99. I got two of them again from HomeSense. Really love the feel of it. I like that fluffy, real warm and cozy sort of feel and look. And I love having different textures in a space. Over here, we have my plant going strong three years now on my glammed out Lazy Susan that I got from HomeSense for $29.99. So if you guys had seen my previous living room tour, and I'll link it, these are two stools that I have, one on top of each other. That was my coffee table legs for my DIY. On the coffee table, I pretty much stick to kind of the same sort of feel. These candles you guys would have seen in almost every part of my home. The newest piece is this really beautiful kind of rosette or rose style floral candle. It actually has a scent. I don't plan on lighting it, but it has a very nice light smell to it. Really, really, really gentle. Um, so I'm not really sure if you like that, just how strong it would be, but I love it. It's so beautiful. Again, with the texture, I just did something really simple for the floral. So in my dining room, my spring dining room tour, you guys would have seen this little bonus area. And I always have a difficult time with what to do with this area. Initially, I thought I would bring in some greens for the spring. And I have these two uh, gorgeous vases with the faces on them. And I thought, oh, how inviting is this going to be in this section? And then I had the candle and the frames and everything just looked crazy. Well, now this is what the section looks like. And I'm super happy with it. Feels better. I am obsessed with this girl that I got from HomeSense. $29.99 is what I paid. And I feel like she looks like something from olden times something that someone found when they went diving and pulled her up and she's got all of this history to her i just really really love her i love the way that she looks i love the way that she feels and i think she fits the space really beautifully and it doesn't feel or look heavy or overwhelming and she compliments my glam which is really shocking considering she's absolutely not a glam girl herself <laughs> this is what the total space looks like and if you guys haven't seen my dining room tour that's also done in blush pink so check that out i will link it in the description box below thank you so much for hanging out with me today i'll see you all in the next video